GFGN is a new show that's fast paced, that shares the local story all about different food and restaurants. I'm really excited about GFGN. I'm gonna get to travel all over the state, see all these awesome places, meet great chefs. I hang out with Trey and we deliver the local story to you. So the concept and the idea about GFGN is simple. We're in the sixth largest city in the nation. We got a great state, tons of great local places. Nobody's doing a show, but why don't we together, let's do that show. Check it out, great food, good neighbors. A chef's favorite for over 90 years, Shamrock Foods proudly delivers fresh and quality ingredients to local restaurants. Chefs know where to go to find all their food service needs. Shamrock Foods, delivering satisfaction. Today on Great Food, Good Neighbors, Lisa, we are having breakfast over easy style. And I've got that egg, I just barely flipped it over. It's gonna be like super. Oh, I love over easy. Super over easy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the way I Because you really it. wanna get that broken yolk to really run in and kind of become part of that gravy. We're also cooking gourmet the campsite with Kim. I'm gonna add a little bit of the scrambled eggs, a little bit of tomato, shredded cheese. I've got cheddar today. And then we've got some um, jalapenos. And we'll be heading to the mining camp at the base of the superstitions. Well, I truly believe I am starring in a Western film here. Vinton, this place has that whole ambiance going on. We're constructed right at the base of the mysterious and majestic Superstition Mountain, the most beautiful backdrop in the state. Follow us as we tour some of Arizona's best eats today on this episode of GFGN. Foodie Fun Bunchers, what is your favorite meal of the day? Trey, what's yours? Lisa would be the one that's in front of me. Hmm. Go figure, right? <laughs> well, breakfast is one of my favorites, and if you're in the mood for that, this is the place to be. We're at one of the many locations here, and if you come and visit, you'll think you've gone upside down at Over Easy. That sounds kind of funky. <laughs> Family run, award winning, and a local favorite. Let's get cooking. All right, you can start your day off without a good cup of coffee. I'm here with Brad May. Love the last name. May, my favorite month. That's my birthday. Can't uh -huh. beat that. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Well, we were meant to be together. We were meant to be together. Yeah. Right here at Over Easy. Right here at Over Easy. I already like the way that sounds. That sounds cool. And you guys, 2007, you came up with this concept with your son, of course, over breakfast. Over breakfast at another uh, well-known breakfast place here in Phoenix. They serve. Uh, fresh food made from scratch, and we thought uh, Phoenix is a big enough market it could handle two of that kind of restaurant. You're award winning, because uh -huh. most of your food on this menu, you guys have won like award after award after award. Yeah, we've been very fortunate. The public and critics seem to enjoy us a lot. Uh, we win a lot of the showdowns uh, with, with other restaurants, our food competing head to head with theirs. Uh, food Network Magazine says that we're the best breakfast in Arizona. Food and Wine Magazine says that we're one of the three best breakfasts in the United States. Uh, oh, it's good. good. Guys, I made it in the kitchen. I'm here with Aaron, the co-owner of Over Easy. Hi. This is so awesome. You guys make such great food. Thank you. Yeah. Now, what are we going to make? We're going to make our banana caramel pecan French toast. Oh, my God. <laughs> going to be great. Obviously, uh, Pecans are like a great natural indigenous ingredient to Arizona. So I've got some egg wash here. Okay, what's in there? Uh, there's milk, there's cinnamon. There's a couple other things I'm not gonna share with you because <laughs> I can't have you making this at home really like okay. exact. Okay, sounds good. So if you just wanna peel this banana down. Okay. And you wanna start taking some slices. All right. Just make nice little slices. Little slices. I'm gonna give, give this French hey, I, So I gotta ask you, what it's like uh, working with your dad? Who's, who's the better? I mean, it's not the, the not the best experience in the world. I wouldn't recommend it for everybody, but <laughs> I personally take a lot of joy out of it. <laughs> Do you? Now, you, you know, you're talking some about- Some people <laughs> volunteer at the hospital. <laughs> exactly. You talked about the local uh, pecans. What else are you guys doing with local vendors? You know, we use as much local stuff as we can. We okay. work with uh, all of our purveyors, whether it's, you know, our grocers, like yeah. 
Shamrock, whether it's our produce guys like Peddler's Son, whatever it is, we try and get as much. That's important to you, right? Local ingredients yeah. as possible. Yeah. Eat that right now. That's the most delicious part of the banana. Hey, I gotta, Watch do, this. I gotta do what the chef said. Sweet, <laughs> delicious, <laughs> perfect, I'm right? that. Yeah. Okay, so right. I've got the French toast. I've got this butter down right now. That's a big toast, by the way. Yeah. And while that's going on, yes, sir. I'm gonna take the bounty of your effort here. Yes, the bananas. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my caramel I've got cooking over here. I love caramel. This is just a classic French caramel. Uh, butter, sugar, milk. You can yeah. see how beautiful that is, oh, yeah. coating the bananas like that. It looks great. Then we're just gonna come right over the top with this caramel and banana. Oh, uh, that, uh, that makes it the dessert now. A little bit of these pecans. Uh, you know, and I know. You want to hit it with that powdered sugar? Yeah, I know Lisa wanted this. You know, she was talking about she wanted me to make this in the kitchen and and, and, and give it to her. But you know what, Chef? Uh, -uh let's let's. Uh, I think it's really a, we just, we should just try it. She can just get her own, right? What, yeah. What do you say to that? I'm actually gonna try it too. That looks no, so good. I'm gonna try it with you. That's the best French toast I've ever had. That's high praise. I appreciate That's that. Awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Brad, did Trey really just make that French toast? I hope I'm getting that. Well, he better make it for you. He better make it for you too, right? Well, I, yeah, I get to eat it all the time. I'm <laughs> you lucky. You do. <laughs> and you have over 75 items on this menu, and I, you know, healthy, not so healthy. Yeah, I like the not so healthy part. I do too, we right? We have the healthy for the people that care. <laughs> Me, not so much. So when it comes to the good neighbor, it really defines your involvement in the community. Yeah, we're very involved in the community. Yesterday I was teaching at a uh, vocational school at St. Mary's Food Bank, training people to work in commercial kitchens. Uh, and, and it's a great source of joy to me. We do a lot of fundraisers here at Over Easy. So what's next? How do you have time for other stuff? Unbelievable, right? <laughs> we have four stores open right now in the Valley, and we have uh, three more that are under construction. Seven stores. So what I gotta do is I gotta master how to make an egg that doesn't always just turn out scrambled. <laughs> well, you have to have a steady hand and crack it and, and don't drop it too high. Sounds good to me, so let's see what Trey can do. Guys, back in the kitchen with Aaron. I, I don't know if you can pop, honestly, the, the French toast. Well, let's, let's go for it. I, I see you're nice and gloved out yeah. there. What are we gonna do? You ready? We're making chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak, yes, sir. So we're gonna take one of these cube steaks, which has been nice and tenderized. We're gonna throw it in that Ziploc bag I got Throw right it in this bag. Let's put Absolutely. it in there. Absolutely. Huh? All right, there you go. And now I'm trusting you with this mallet. Mallet. And I just want you to give it some good pounding, okay? Okay. Take out your aggression. Perfect, yeah, you're doing great. Since you've got the glove, we're gonna let you do a little more work. Why don't you go ahead and drop that in that flour bowl? It's very thin. It's delicate, I know. Just put it in there, then what, flip, flip it, it over? Flip it over. Flip it over. Get it nice and coated. Yes, sir, all right. And then you go ahead and drop it right in that egg wash. I think I pounded the heck out of it, chef. With the egg and the bread. Put it back in there one more time. Everything, and we're okay. gonna put it right back in here. Okay. Exactly, we've got it nice and coated, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fry this up, and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Just right in the deep fryer, huh? Yep. Yes, sir. And I've got a hot pan here, and I'm just gonna make an egg to put on top of it, right? You love eggs. I love eggs. <laughs> little flavor, little texture, little protein. Okay. It seems like chefs always like to add one more item onto something I've noticed, right? You know, I try and keep it pretty simple, but yeah, that is like the curse of being a chef is adding too much stuff. <laughs> one more thing. There's no calories in this, right? There, it, no. As long <laughs> as you eat them off a friend's plate, it's calorie free. <laughs> oh, I love that. Some delicious country gravy. Yes, sir. That we're just gonna go right over the top with. You know, and I'm very particular about gravy. I, I grew up in the South, so. Right? Not putting any pressure on you, but I mean, I'm just saying. I can handle the pressure. And I've got that egg, I just barely flipped it over. It's gonna be like super. Oh, I love over easy. Super over easy. Yeah, that, that's, that's the way I Because you really it. wanna get that broken yolk to really <laughs> run in and kind of become part of that gravy. So is that it? I'll let you dig into that. Oh, I gotta do whatever the chef says to do here. It is so tender. Look how it's just falling apart, chef. Oh my God, let's see what we got going on here. How'd I do? You know what? That gravy's awesome. Thank you. You would make it in Oklahoma for sure. Coming from a guy from Oklahoma, I'll take it as high praise. Well guys, Over Easy was a lot of fun. I am so stuffed from that French toast. Trey, it's kind of a bummer. You didn't save me any. I will get you back. Hey, don't forget guys, try the chicken fried steak here. It's award winning. Don't miss it. 
Foodies, log on to gfgntv.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're out. That's what's up. Crushing Your Box, the new book from motivational speaker Trey Goodman is now available. Go online to order at inkwellproductions.com or pick up a copy at local bookstores. Tradition, experience, and commitment. Shamrock Foods, delivering satisfaction. Hi, I'm Kim Hanna. Welcome to the campsite. We're going to do a little bit of camping, a little bit of exploring, and of course, a whole lot of gourmet cooking. Come on, let's go have some fun. Hi, I'm Kim Hanna. Welcome to Camping for Foodies. Today, we are going to make a really awesome breakfast. We're going to use a little bit of muffin tins and have some eggs, and we're actually doing them on the campfire. This is the muffin tin egg campfire breakfast. And it's super simple, you'll see how. So we've got our campfire going already and we've got a large size muffin tin. This is a really great recipe to do when you have a lot of people and everybody kind of wants something different in their eggs. I'm gonna throw a little bit of butter in the bottom of each one of these tins. Some people like a uh, regular egg with no scramble. So I used to try to do a scrambled egg um, at the campfire where everybody was sort of eating together. Well, what I found was, okay, put onions in mine. No onions in mine. Put garlic in mine. Garlic's not for breakfast. So this made a really easy way for everybody to have breakfast at the same time because they're all sort of just building their own. We've got a little bit of chopped deli ham already cooked, mushrooms, green onions, a little bit of tomato, shredded cheese. I've got cheddar today. And then we've got some um, jalapenos. I'm gonna add a little bit of the scrambled eggs. If you want to add a little bit of uh, milk or water to them, that makes them a little bit more fluffy, but today I'm not gonna do that. Some people in my family like a lot of mushrooms. Some people don't like mushrooms at all. So, um, so I'm gonna add mushrooms to a couple of these, a lot of mushrooms to one. This one's gonna get some ham. And we've got a little bit of green onion that always looks really nice. Some cheddar cheese in this one. This one's gonna be veggie heavy here with a little bit of tomato and some jalapenos. This is also a really cool thing to do with a crowd. Um, when you have a lot of people, you can just kind of keep the assembly line going and I'm doing a little bit of cheese in the uh, whole egg as well. I'm gonna wipe this up just a tad, and then I'm moving over to the fire. And we've got our fire going here. Set this down. I don't want direct flame right underneath here, so I'm gonna move my fire burning wood off to the side, and I just want some coals underneath. You'll find that the colder it is outside, the more this will cook from the bottom and not cook from the top. And also um, wind temperature, elevation, that all kind of matters. So it's a little bit of an art and a little bit of a science with this. Um, if they're cooking faster on the bottom and the sides than they are in the center, it's not a big deal. Just take a cookie sheet or something else, even a piece of tin foil and cover it up. And these will get hot fast. Eggs that are scrambled are probably gonna cook a little bit faster than the ones that are whole. What you might end up doing is taking out one or two at a time. They might not all cook exactly at the same time. So we're gonna go check on our eggs. I think they're looking pretty good right now. Ooh, they're beautiful. You can see the center of this one is not quite done, nor is this. This one is starting to look beautiful. This is the whole egg and done. Because I have less ingredients in these, they're cooking a little bit faster, which is totally fine. This one's got a little more time to go to set. So 
even though we put everything in at the same time because they all have different ingredients and different um, amounts of liquid inside, they're gonna cook at a different rate. So those two center ones are done. I'm gonna take this off the fire, plate those, and then put the others back on the fire to finish cooking. These are so cute. Little individual servings. They're just beautiful. And if that's gonna be on the fire for any length of time, I probably wanna put a little bit of water in my two cups that have uh, nothing else in them so that I'm not warping my pan. So we've got a, an egg there that's got a nice center. And we'll let these guys finish over here. You hear that go. Little sizzle there. So we're watching the centers of our other eggs there. They're looking really good, coming along nicely. They're gonna be done perfectly, bottom and top. Okay, so the rest of them are done. We're gonna take these off the grill. We're gonna serve these up. And I'm gonna say, enjoy your next camp trip. Thank you for visiting Camping for Foodies for this recipe and more. Visit me on my website. See you again soon. Coming up, we're riding into the wild west of the mining camp. Delicious food, live music, and a little dancing. Lisa, get your fork and knife because we're stacking towers of ribs. We'll be right back on GFGN. Skyline Productions is just minutes from downtown Phoenix and Sky Harbor International Airport. Our facility houses a studio, white on set, edit bays, and a production truck, all in high depth. But it's our staff that really sets us apart. Our creative staff has produced commercials, training videos, documentaries, not to mention live TV, and we're not limited to our own backyard. We've had crews shoot and produce all over the world. Creative and outside the box is just how we roll. Our home is your home. Skyline Productions, your HD production facility. It's time to be pulled by your passions, not pushed by your fear. Stop relying on motivation and become committed to who you really are. You are not a failure. You are not someone who can't do it. You are powerful, strong, resilient. Listen and trust that inner voice. Stop the cycle of self-defeat. Start and stop, climb and fall. Step into your inherent greatness and begin your transformation today. Tradition, experience, and commitment. Shamrock Foods, delivering satisfaction. Get your boots on because, Trey, today we are wrangling in a truly Western experience. And Lisa, we are looking at the Superstition Mountains, and from here, this has a great Western feel to it. It does, so let's giddy on up. Guys, who would have thought it? I'm in the kitchen with the chef. Chef Dennis. How are we doing? I'm, we're doing great here at the mining right. camp. Now, I understand we're going to make something today, but it's not really what you'd think you would make at like a Western mining camp place. Yes. This is our dynamite shrimp. Dynamite shrimp. And what do we have here? What's this all going to be That's about? That's a uh, sweet and spicy chili aioli. So eventually those are going to end up in that? Absolutely. <laughs> I yes. love that. Okay. This is potato starch. Gotta we're going to throw old, it in the fryer. In the old deep fryer. All right. How, how do I do this, Jeff? Just like a triangle. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Nice color, okay. Yeah. Oh, that looks that looks great. That looks great. Mix that around. Mix it up, huh? I can see why this would be a great appetizer. Definitely. And I'm assuming you still like eating this yourself. Absolutely. You I gotta try it. I, can I, Chef? It's a must. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Grab a fork. There. How about we both we both have some of this? Let's what do, you, do that. What do you say? This looks delicious. I mean, this looks like like really really good. That's great sauce. I'm gonna need that recipe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I truly believe I am starring in a Western film here at Vinton. This place has that whole ambiance going on. We appreciate it. We love it. 
Thank you. Welcome to the historic mining camp restaurant, a part of the Old West. And the backdrop here, there's something to be said for that. We're constructed right at the base of the mysterious and majestic Superstition Mountain, the most beautiful backdrop in the state. What can people expect? Well, we have two great dining experiences to offer. One is our historic family-style dining. That's served at the table just like Grandma used to do, heaping platters oh, help yourself. Good. And our, good. our latest venture is the Dutchman's Hideout, which we constructed in 2008. Award-winning. We won Best Steakhouse in the Valley through uh, ABC 15's A-List. Oh, that's great. And you guys also have performers. Our dinner shows this year have uh, an amazing amount of celebrities. We have Jimmy Fortune of the Statler Brothers, Quaby Sisters from Texas, Bardy Wranglers from Durango, Colorado, and we have Riders in the Sky, to name a few. Colorado, Texas, and then right here at home. Yes, we brought, them, we brought them here for you. I like that. I'm gonna have to stay for the show and maybe line dance later, right? All right, all right. <laughs> um, you guys also do a lot for the community, though. You're definitely involved. Yes, we like to support Sunshine Acres. That's a homeless children's home. We support the Apache Junction Food Bank. We support uh, our neighbor, the Lost Hutchman State Park, and our schools, our, their sports programs and such. Very nice. Vinton, as they say here, come taste an Arizona tradition. You heard the guy. Hey guys, back in the kitchen. And Dennis, I love that shrimp appetizer. Thank you. But we're at a Western restaurant. I'm That's expecting right. something country, Western style food. What do we got going? And this is what we're known for. The mining camp's traditional barbecue beef ribs. Can I help you with this? Absolutely. Wow. For the Dutchman's hideout, we do stacks. I like that word. <laughs> These are very tender. They're almost falling apart, They chef. are really tender. Kind of hard. I'm, is actually, this like a game of beef Jenga? Slow roasted, pretty much, yeah. Does that come with a bib, I hope? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Chef. And then what do you do? We eat them, or what happens next? Uh, we're going to throw them in the oven and get that sauce caramelized. Oh, OK. Oh, awesome. yeah. Chef Dennis, so that's caramelized. That's caramelized right there. Oh, that looks awesome, man. Yes. Oh, wow. That looks like uh, so delicious. I can't wait to try that. We got a little bit of what are these garlic mashed potatoes? Mashed or? potatoes. Yeah. It's got a little bit of uh, cabbage and oh, cabbage. green scallion. Oh, it. that's different. I like Yukon. that. Yukon. Okay. Yeah. That's a good. Oh, you got to put it on the on the potatoes, huh? Wow. So what what's left to do, chef? Just plate Just it, right? Plate it. Serve put it up. It up on this. Order up. That looks so good. I hate to wait bye bye to that. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you, chef. Yes. <laughs> Thank Lisa, our go go girl. Yeah. You know, that's, <laughs> hadn't, hadn't seen one of those since the 60s. Holy cow. <laughs> Guys, I know this is unusual. A third time in the kitchen here with Chef Dennis, but we had to come back for one more thing. Ribeyes, right? That's right. Yeah. Oh, I we love are... ribeyes. Let's season it up. A little olive oil, olive salt oil. and pepper. Okay, salt and pepper. I love it. Keep it simple, but but tasty. That's right. Now, where are you getting uh, all your meats and vegetables and things that you guys are preparing here? Um, we get them off from Shamrock Foods. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Right. Who else are you using as well? Superstition Ranch Market for our, our produce. Okay. We try and get local as much as we can. Local's important. Sorry. Yeah, local, local. All right, Chef, looks pretty good. What do you think? Rare. Yes, sir. Ready to go. All right. You don't mind if I just uh, 
try a little uh, you gotta. bit of your work here. Oh, that's nice and tender, Chef. Look at that. That's rare. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. That is awesome, man. <laughs> I love that. All right. Oh, yeah. Trey, we struck gold with this place. The food here is so good, and I have the chicken pot pie. Lisa, you're so right. I can't wait to finally dive into these ribs I worked on in the kitchen. Check it out. Oh, it looks great. Oh, yeah. Foodies, you want to join in on the fun, too. GFGNTV.com. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Crushing Your Box, the new book from motivational speaker Trey Goodman is now available. Go online to order at inkwellproductions.com or pick up a copy at local bookstores. Hey foodies, Trey. On this episode we got to do a little bit of dancing old western style. I'd like to thank Lisa, our go-go girl. Yeah. <laughs> Kim of Camping for Foodies showcased some of Arizona's beautiful deserts and made some delicious campsite food. With a little bit of tomato and some jalapenos. We also got to make some gourmet breakfast to have with our coffee. And then we're just gonna come right over the top with this caramel and banana. Oh, that, uh, that makes it the dessert now. Where will we go next? Watch full episodes of all our shows on gfgntv.com. Thanks for watching. Great food, good neighbors. Tradition, experience, and commitment. Shamrock Foods, delivering satisfaction. It's time to be pulled by your passions, not pushed by your fear. Stop relying on motivation and become committed to who you really are. You are not a failure. You are not someone who can't do it. You are powerful, strong, resilient. Listen and trust that inner voice. Stop the cycle of self-defeat. Start and stop, climb and fall. Step into your inherent greatness and begin your transformation today.